A mysterious client pays her lawyer with an exotic object. Maybe she was a spy. Maybe. It becomes his son's strange inheritance. It is quite a stunning piece to look at. Can he decode its past and unlock a fortune? It's the equivalent for us as Americans of owning something that may have been there with George Washington. Wow. Wow is right. A small town, an ancient emperor, and a puzzle. It was a three-week auction and nothing happened. And nothing, nothing happened. Nothing? No bids? You're thinking that, my gosh, this is terrible. Oh, it's all out the window. I'm Jamie Colby, and today I'm visiting Townsend, Vermont, classic Norman Rockwell America. It's the kind of place where neighbors can still leave their doors unlocked and where a country lawyer can let clients pay them with food from their farm or dinners at a restaurant or gifts of some kind. In fact, that's how this strange inheritance story begins. My name is Paul Weber. My father was a lawyer in small town Vermont who was always willing to help a client out. And that's how I ended up inheriting a really cool and really old Chinese relic. And a pretty strange story to tell. I meet Paul, a local math teacher, and his wife Sarah at their home. Come on in. Thank you so much. The residence doubles as a bed and breakfast the couple have run for almost 30 years. I couldn't help but noticing as I came in, you have a lot of exotic art. My father was always interested in Asian art, and he dabbled in painting a little bit. And so that's why we have lots of things around the house. 